<laughs> Going off here in Arnhem oh, Land, mate. As long as it's not a crocodile. Cooked and cooked with the missile. <laughs> yeah! Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> guys welcome back hey um this episode's going to be something a little bit different and we're going to do um, a bit of a catch and cook or a bit of a hooked and cooked um becky boo spin around and show them where we are mate so uh this is called the granites so it's only about a 15 minute tinny ride from the go boat club uh it's part of your dimaru recreational pass you just got to jump online and book this as a camping site i actually booked it to come and camp but because um, it's so close, uh, we're just going to come over here. Uh, set up, not a tent, just set up a little spot. Then we're going to go fishing. So I'm going to catch a fish and we're going to come back and cook it on the campfire for you. So something a little bit different for us. Um, and yeah, maybe I'll come back and camp with the lads. I don't know. We're just sort of a bit of a mission taking the whole family and all our camping gear. In this tinny, yeah. In this tinny. <laughs> well, there you go, shut wow, it down. It's so clear. Have a look at the water, mate. Oh what the God. hell? Nice. So beautiful. Isn't that killer? The granites, mate. Mm. There you go, kids. Hey, Jump off. Oh. And the water temperature. Oh my lord. It's just amazing. You're tucked in here out of the wind. Oh. Epic. Anyway, up here, someone's left a little tarp up there. And you come up in the corner here, there's a um a fire pit, a little table, and then a nice flat area to set your tents up behind it. So me and Billy come and check this out the other day, scoped it out before we booked it online. But you're dead set out of the wind up here. Like it's been blowing, because we're in the dry season, they get the trade winds up here. But over in this corner, it's just absolute oh, bliss, mate. Have a look at this. <laughs> Are you actually serious? Oh, jeez. I'll tell you what, I might have to come back here on my own. Just bring a tent, a couple of cold ones. How do you reckon of that? This spot suits you, dear. I know, it's right up my alley. Right, you can swim here. Just here, have a splash in the sand here. It's always like, because you know, obviously there's crocs in the area, so yeah. I could kind of lie down here, I guess. Oh, you sweet ace in yeah. the corner here. Yeah. All right, let's grab some gear out, our firewood. We brought our firewood over with us in our bags. And, oh, geez, it will be a bit light going back. It'll be good. And then we can use these bags to pick up any rubbish we find over here as well. Keep it nice and clean for everyone else. I tell you what, if you haven't got the granites on your list of travel destinations, you need to change that list, eh? This place. We've come out for our fish. Now I've, um, I've got two rods. Three I'm gonna give Beck the first one. I want Beck to catch a fish, right? Yeah. So this is where me and the that. kids have been catching reds. Uh, I caught a little. What? Oh, those oh, nana guy. Yeah, yeah. So I caught a little mackerel the other day. I kept it for bait. I'm gonna pin that on there. I'm gonna drop it straight over the side. Why? Why can't I? Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. And Beck is gonna catch us the first fish. Wait until it's at the bottom. <laughs> and look at the as soon as we're, we're just gonna come out and catch. Couple of quick fish, then we're gonna shoot straight back and start a fire and have a cook up. And um, lo and behold, I got a little sneaky treat for you when we get back too. Don't worry about that. Um, yeah, just get it on the bottom. Jack's, Jack's giving her instructions. Here. But yeah, we got a little campfire cook up for you. I'm stoked. Room to take it. There you go. You're getting bites. Becky, baby. You got it yet? Jack, don't keep me on the bum. You got to get him. It's all up to you, dear. We don't eat without you. Shh, I'm concentrating. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, oh so close. Yes. <laughs> Becky <laughs> Boo. She's onto a stonker too. I am. I am. Oh my God. You're kidding. Oh. Go, dear. Oh. Hang on. What's going on here? Oh, oh, oh. Nice oh. and easy. Slow down. Slow down. Oh, oh my God. Oh easy, 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 stop, stop, stop. What? That's oh, a cod, yeah, oh, bring him in. Oh, big cod. Wait oh. there, wait there. Hold, it. Hold his head in the water. Yeah. Hold his head in the water. Oh, oh, clean yeah. Swim him over. Swim him over. Yeah. Yay! Mum's got a fish! Look at that! Yeah. You're kidding. I know, oh my god! Flick your bow over. Flick your bow over. Yeah, oh. there we go. Oh my god, oh. my heart's racing. Look at that, that's a good fish. Is he edible and legal? Absolutely. Oh, yes. That's a cracker. I never huh? get edible ones. Caught on the fire, dude. Yeah. You legend, oh. high five. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Was, what was that? Oh my. That was a fish, I saw it. Oh. Yeah. What was that? That was a fish. That was a big, oh. yeah. I saw it. <laughs> Going off here in the Arnhem oh, Land, mate. As long as it's not a crocodile. I'm Hooked happy. and with the missile. <laughs> Yay! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's getting good. Oh. All right. Oh, my God, I'm like shaking. That's so cool. <laughs> that's really cool. So we've come back to where we were going to sit, and there's a heap of rocks out at the front of that campsite. The tide's going to drop out to like dead low while we're sitting here, the Savo, watching the sun go down. So if we stayed there, the boat would end up on the rocks and we'd have to drag it out on the rocks. But if we walk up the end of the sand spit, the water gets a bit deeper as it drops away, so we can just keep dragging the boat out a little bit while the sun goes down. And we have a fire on the beach, cook up some cod, a couple of crayfish, hey? Mate, does life get much better? I really don't think it does, my friends. Anyway, pull this boat up. Get the fire cranking. I've got one cold tin left to have. <laughs> Mondays do not get much better than this. Ah. Here we go. Beach. Ah, have a look at this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you actually serious, mate? All right, we're going to uh, make a little fire here below the high water line and um, put the grill on it, cook up some dinner. I'll leave this here and you can have a look. I really don't think Arnhem Land could get much better right now. <laughs> I've got to show you this. Have a look in this esky with you. Apart from the old um, pure blonde tin and the Pringles packet, check out what's in there. Ooh, little sneaky little crayfish and a nice big cod that Becky caught. Look at this. Oh, I might give us them. <laughs> Fresh crays from Bremer Island. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the blokes we met up here, thanks Aaron. He did a day trip over there with his family today and then come and met us on the beach, the Savo, and slipped us a couple of crays. So hold it up there. You want to hold one, Bearsy? Yeah. Look and, at and that. They, and I just scared that shedded hey? their skin. That one just shedded its skin. A little bit of local Arnhem Land hospitality. You can't beat that. Hang on, hang on to it by the top there. Ready? Let it go. Let it go. Ah, there you no, go. Just hanging down. Yes. Bit of cray tail for dinner. What do you reckon? You gonna yeah. have a crack? And then um, <laughs> Becky managed to get this nice cod that we just showed you. So we're gonna clean that up. Oh wow! Look at it. Put that on the fire with the cray tails. Happy days, mate. I'm like so proud of my cod. <laughs> Seriously. Um, oh mate, if I had the guts to go and like dive in Arnhem Land, um, I'd probably go and get some of these for myself. But yeah, I'm a little bit worried about crocodiles and sharks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so fair. thank you, locals. Yeah, cheers, Aaron. All right, come in here, I'll show you what we're gonna do with this cod. All I'm gonna do is um, scale it up and then I'm just gonna gut it and I'm gonna put it, once we get a few coals, I'm just gonna put our rack on it. And we normally swing that rack off a little tripod, but I'm just gonna put it on a bed of coals in the sand, chuck the fish on it whole. And we've got a couple of, um, I found these like timber or bamboo knives and forks at Woolies. And then we can just throw them on the fire when we're done. No plastic cutlery, you know what I mean? So anyway, we'll do this. You just gotta use the back of your knife and scale it backwards from tail to front and the scales come off. Where? There you go. So normally, 
we eat all our fish filleted and skinned, so I don't have to scale them. I just makes it a lot easier to skin if you leave the scales on. But that's because we don't eat much whole fish. But it's a bit hard to cook a fillet on the fire without it falling through the grill. So <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do it like this. Actually, feel a little bit like um, old Castaway, mate. No. <laughs> You don't look like Tom Hanks. Steve Wilson. Hey, hey. Do you come with his pay packet? No, I'm better looking, I know. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this how's, is going to be good. How's the serenity, eh? Look at that. Hey, Mum caught it. Yeah. Say that again. Mum caught it. Mum caught it. Here's our little treat for the night. Have a look at these. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Jacko's on the camera and he's a little bit frothing over the crayfish. I agree. Now um, I'm going to show you how I do them. It might be wrong, please don't judge me, but I always get the most meat out of them, so it can't be too bad. Um, I actually haven't had crayfish before. I you have? Think. It's not since um, WA though, mate. It's been yeah. a long time, yeah, probably two been... years. But yeah. swing in here, I'll show you. I'm not They're not these kind of crayfish though. No, nah, these are different to the Western ones. We got Western Reds last time. I think these are painted crays. Um, so I put a glove on because they're super sharp. With my knife, swing your ear jack, I get in above the tail and I just like use my knife to sort of cut out as much meat as I can around there. So you do that and then pull and there is your tail and a few guts. Get rid of the guts and stuff. So that bit's good. And then with a good pair of scissors like I've got, I'll store stock from the mines, thank you. Um, you cut down the center like so. And then down the back. So you cut it in half and then fold it open. Ah, there you go. I'll go and give them a rinse out. And you see all this meat in here. If you yeah. don't cut the heads out, you get all these scallops. I've said it before, it's like, you know when you get a hot chook from Woolies and the only time that all that meat underneath any good is when it's hot when you first bring it home. This stuff, mate, put that over the fire and dig that out. Oh, legit, so good. And then with these, if you've got a big knife, you can just put it down the center and go chop. Um, these are a bit soft actually, so I might be able to do it. I'll just run my knife down here. Righto. Like so. You can do the same. Here's the scissors. <laughs> these scissors are gold, mate. They do everything for me. Okay. You got it, Root? Mm -mm. Come in here. I have the next one, by the way, so. Here we go. Look at that. Slap them on the coals. That's Ooh. one done. Uh, I, I can't wait to try a painted. It'll one. be alright, Jack. I reckon it'll be real good. So, anyway, that's how you do them. I'll, um, I'll do this second one, clean them up, and we'll get them on the fire for you. And uh, you can watch how delicious they are when we uh, tuck into them at sunset. Thanks, cameraman Jack. You're welcome. probably wondering why I'm cooking meatballs when we've got this seafood feast. Well, <laughs> it's probably a little bit mean, but don't tell me you don't do it to your own kids. Um, we're going to feed them up on meatballs first, so then we can eat all the seafood. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds mean saying it out loud, but that's the plan anyway. Mm. Sorry, I'm sure you guys do that, don't you? Absolutely you, Mate, I'm you sure would. would. If we had 10 crayfish and a couple of cod, then, you know, I'd probably let them have some. They'll get some, don't worry. I'm not going to not let them have some, but I just want to <laughs> feed them up on a few meatballs first. I heard that whole conversation. Did ya? You little rat bag. So I've just been cooking them in, um, in an alpha tray on the side of the fire. I just put the rack over there, moved the fire a bit. Now I am pretty amateur at this stuff, so don't take it too hard on me. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get fish on. I'm going to put it over on this side, on the cool side. I'm just going to slap it straight, skin side down. Ooh. Just let it sit there like that. And then with the crayfish, oh, I'm going to do the heads first. I'm going to put them on the hot side, down like that. So we can have the little scallops out of the head as a bit of an entree. And then um, we'll put the tails on later on and eat them with the fish. Oh, mate. Yum. If this isn't making your mouth water right now, there is something wrong with you. Look at that. Now I've got no seasoning or nothing on them, just rinsed freshly in salt water. 
They will be delicious, mate. Don't worry about that. Hey. Taste tester. Have a look at this. Get in here. So you get all these sculpts of meat out of the head. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mate. You have no. Oh, I'm excited to taste it. Oh, dear. That's a bit of guts and all that. Oh, but you get in there and dig right in behind the antlers. And you get all the good stuff out. Look at that. Oh. It's like heaven, mate. Hi. In a head shell. <laughs> anyway, come and have a look at this. The cod's halfway. The tails are on the fire. Oh. Sun's about half an hour away. Oh mate, what a mint arbor. Look at these guys. I like it. How's the meatballs? Good. Good? Smash Great. into them. Meatball singer. You wanna try some um, crayfish as well? Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, all right. Fish is done, come and have a look at this. Ooh -hoo. The glove's coming in handy again. We'll pick him up gently. It's pretty heavy, so don't drop him. Yeah. That's a Have a look at that. Oh, oh, I know how heavy. Swing in here. Like... Swing in here. Look, you just peel the skin back. Oh, you get your fork. You don't have to eat the skin because oh. it's all char grill. Get your fork and dig into that. Let's do it. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Because I caught the fish. Ah. She has the first taste. I do, Jack. Correct. I should do that more often. It's nice. So good, eh? Yep. Oh that, that's God. what we that's what we usually fill it out. Mm. But it's whole. It is whole. How good's that? Come it's and have a taste test. It's delicious. Can I try? Yeah, you can try. Ready? I'm gonna try. Come on, give me some. <laughs> I feel like I'm starting my own YouTube channel. Oh yeah? What are you gonna call it? What are you gonna call deciding. it? Exciting. <laughs> deciding. You said the Jack's Do you like it or you preferred crumbed and battered fish? I would prefer crumbed and battered, but that's pretty good. Oh, good. You like it. All right. I like it. Jack, you said your YouTube was Jack's Nile. Uh, all right, crayfish time, eh? Sounds good to me. What do you reckon? That was a shark that would Here we go, my pot. love. Queen. They've cooled down for a few minutes. Mm. We're going to bang into them. We might flip this fish over. Oh, there it is. Not much left on him after cooking the whole. Oh, get him to that side. Flies have found us. They have. Hey? We better eat quick. Bit of a bugger. Real fast. Anyway, I'm going to dig this out. Hang on. Ready? Cray tail. Oh, mm. mate. Let's get it out of the shell. Mm, that's really nice. Oh. You watching? Mm. You watching? Mate. Mm. The day just got better. I didn't think it could, but it did. <laughs> you want some of that? Yeah. Too bad. Too much. Your eyes are like bright red. Oh. The fire. Can't flash, mate. Yeah, yeah. So bad. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Have a crack at that. It's hot. Oh, it's nice in the sun there. There you go. Just have a bite. Oh, yum. How good's that? Yeah, it's really. Ah, fruitcake, it's hot. Just take a bite, you water. Oh, I'm trying, hang on. Mmm. So all I did there was put them, straighten their tails over the fire, mm. bit of coals. Yum. Took probably six or seven minutes, depends how hot your fire is, but you just want to make sure they go from being like a bit clear, the meat, and it goes white. Just use one to try it and then, mate, ridiculous. Don't matter if you're getting a bit underdone, you can put it back on, but you don't want to overdo it. It goes a bit tough. Mm. That is. So good. So good, mate. All right. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. Like I said, that's Hooked and Cooked, episode one. Arnhem Land. Terrible um, afternoon. Terrible arvo. A uh, bit of fishing, a bit of a cook up, campfire. And uh, now we're just going to leave you with one of the most epic sunsets this is we've seen. Um, so Absolutely. we'll let you enjoy it and then we'll scoot home in the tinny. So I might have to go home and have a sneaky beer just to uh, celebrate such a good arvo. Thanks, dear. Providing dinner. Yeah. Righto. Hunter and gatherer. See you guys.
Oh, day trip today, mate. I know. I'm excited. We're going to Barnabanu Resort, which is on Bremer Island. And we go from the Gove Boat Club right yep. here, mate. How good is it? It's about a 45 minute trip, so I'm a little bit nervous because I'm really good at getting seasick. <laughs> but hopefully it's a sweet trip. We've got a good day. We have got a good day. Anyway, keen as swim around, have a bit of lunch, and um, show you what Bremer Island's all about, mate. <laughs> Been hanging to get over here for a while. I'll give you some more info later. So, uh, what do you reckon, mate, Barney Barney? I'm feeling pretty good. I've had a couple <laughs> of cocktails. <laughs> it's pretty bloody nice, mate. Yeah. Like, you pull up, so you should probably spend, I don't know, what time do we get here? About 10 o'clock? Mm, 10.30. Then you, you leave yeah, again 10. at 2.30. Got a couple of hours in the morning to swim, explore the island. There's kayaks here. Mm. There's snorkeling stuff. You can walk over the other side of the island. You can walk up the beach. And then um, lunch, mate. A couple of beers. Yeah. Cocktails. Yep. We had a really nice lunch. Yeah, fish burger for me, squid for the squeeze. Yep, kids had nuggets. Yeah, it was good. And now another couple of hours before the boat goes home. Mm. I'm going to go for a bit of a walk up the end of the beach and um, show you a few more photos and vids from around the joint. But I'll tell you what, it's um, a little piece of paradise it up here in Arnhem Land. so Lane. beautiful. Hey? Kids are just loving being able to swim here too. So you, you know can what? Swim it's, here. Yeah, you can. Yeah, swim flat out. You know what? It's really good. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's super, super relaxing. Oh, I don't know. Ridiculous. Like you're just like sitting on the beach. In tea time. Fully content. Um, yeah, and the swimming helps. Oh my yeah. god. Like how oh. the, the water up here is such a tease. Yep. And most of the time you can't swim in it. But the kids have just lived in the water yeah. the whole morning. So good times. Good times. Yep. Anyway. Yeah. Just gonna try and convince old wifey here not to have five more cocktails and then I don't have to carry her home this afternoon. But uh, anyway. I started off with the espresso martini and then I went to the Aperol spritz. Now she wants to finish now, the rest of the list, you know, number six. <laughs> no, I, want, I would like another Aperol spritz. Anyway. Um, Maybe you could go up and get me one. Pass. <laughs> when we're in, um, when you're in Arnhem Land, mate, check it out. The um, East Island, it's Bremer Island, it's called mm. Banu Banu. Um, especially if you're staying at the golf club, I mean the boat club, far out, I've only had two beers. If you're staying at the boat club, you just walk out the front of your caravan, jump on the transfer, and you're here in an hour. Mm. Um, uh, prices, I don't know, Beck booked yeah. it. So. so it's 120 per adult, $90 per child. Wow, yeah. So it ain't cheap. No. We did, we did sort we, it of took mull us over this a while, yes. and then we're like, oh. We're here once. We really need to go and see it. So it's not a cheap day trip, but I tell you, it's something pretty unique and we haven't seen it anywhere else yeah. around the country. So it's beautiful. There you go. We'll leave you with a couple of cool shots I'm of Banu Banu. And um, we'll be home back to go for the Sabbath. Mm. My whole aim for today is to try and get some liveys and then um, go and put them on a snag up a creek. Try and catch something different around here. Righto, let's get into it. Oh, beauty. Oh, yes, that's a live and a half, that is. Hey, here we go. Yes. Ah, you're going to get pumped, mate. I don't know if you can see that. I think there's a shark going straight for it. We'll soon find out. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this attack. Oh, there we go. Oh, what did I tell you? Just got pumped. Did you see that? I booked him. <laughs> well, Ivy worked a treat, mate. Oh, it's a doozy of a shark. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, get him up the surface so you can see him. Here he comes. Look at that. Yeah. What a ripper. He's about four foot long. 
He's fair to tuck it out now, look at that. Oh, he's having another go, you dirty dog. Nope, he's not. Hello, right, oi, so I've put a um, bit of pilly and a bit of squid on and bottom bashed just to try and get a feed before we go search new ground. And look at that, what a nice largemouth nanny. He's woofed it too, so I'll get it back down there. I'll catch a couple of them. That's dinner and I can move on. We're gonna sneak up this um, creek, see if we can't put a few liveys on and smack something different, eh? See how this goes. Only real small liveys, so I'm putting four of them on. Flap around. Get it back in there. I'm onto a good fish, but he's, there he is, he's coming out of the snag. Oh, come on, I've still got him. Let's see if we can't get him out of this snag here. Lost him. He's nipped me off. He was still there too, he was in the snag. Oh. Oh, that's good though, that's good. I've got one out of the snag. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a good. Good jack or a grunt or something, pull it in. Have a look at this. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is exciting fishing. Holy hell. Hey? What an absolute corker of a cod on the light gear. Hey? Oh, it's only on 20 pound. My little quick fire combo. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, look at the gob on it. Yum. I tell you what, if you haven't had fresh cod and chips, it is a bloody good feed. Oh, that's on half a pilly. Yes. Oh, my God, I'm so happy with that. That is killer. There you go. <sighs> Getting him out of that snag is so legit fun, hey. That is awesome. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I stopped to have a bit of a flick. Oh, I'm glad I did. Have a look at this, mate. I'm having the best morning session ever. <laughs> oh, what a nice fish. Look at that. Took him on the little squid off the flats. Now I'm getting rain, hey. What else could we get today? A barra? Let's get a barra, absolutely. The weather's got a bit ugly on me, uh, so it's a little bit lumpy. I just got to cruise home, but I might as well throw the old Halco Laser Pro out the back. Cruise along so it's not so uncomfortable and see if we can't get a spanny on the way home, eh? Ah, oh, got one on the troll. Hey, it worked. He's a good Mackie. About a metre long. Oh. Here he comes. Look at that. No. There you go. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Oh, what a flipping day. Have a look at this fish, mate. Holy hell. There we go. Have a look at that. <laughs> oh, happy days, mate. Big Spaniard to finish off the sesh. Oh, that's me. I'm going home now. Woo. Giddy up. <laughs> yes. Woo. Happy days. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. There we go. That's the end of the morning session. Good mixed bag, a nanny, a queenie, cod, and a metery Spanish mac. <laughs> oh, mate. Yeah. Happy? Yeah. Pretty happy. Yeah, fishy, fishy. <coughs> All right, oi, what's the verdict? Awesome. Awesome? Amazing. You guys are right, eh? Ah. Uh, so tonight on the menu is. Um, Spanish mackerel, thank you very much, well, Justin. Why, but uh, it's all gluten free, so we've got a James Squire Broken Shackles Lager and uh, White Wings gluten free self raising flour. Yeah. That's it. 
And I'll tell you what. It's really nice. It's nice, eh? What do you reckon, kids? I reckon it's good. Do you oh, know that? Can you tell? Fish ever. Can you tell the difference between a um, no. normal flower and self-raising flower? I reckon it's lighter. Yeah. Oh, I it's reckon it's nice. lighter. Best. It's mix. all in the beer, eh? Yeah, I agree. Hmm. I'll tell you what, like. If you use like a Great Northern or a Forex Gold for a beer batter. Yeah. Were you trying to steal that? Get out of it. Uh, it works, but it's nowhere near as good, eh? But anyway, I'm going to go and um, get some fish out of the fryer. But enjoy this. It's nice, eh? Now it's got more fish. Mate, <laughs> you have to have a look at this fish. Holy s. <laughs> Say good day to Hayden from the bike club, mate. Yeah. Oh, he's put me onto this donkey this morning. Have a look at this. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's back at me. Uh, oh, he's not having a big run like a Jew, though, is he? No, no, but just, oh. we'll see, though. It's good fish. Come on. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh. Here he comes. I like the top. What are you, get, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> you got him up yet? <laughs> Here he comes. There's a leader. Oh, come on. Come on, I can't see him yet. Oh, there's a bit of silver there. He doesn't like the boat, mate. All right. <laughs> I'll be ready to go home up. Yeah. Right. Oh, there's some colour. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What you got? Oh, yeah. Nice, Dewey. Have a look at that. Good fish. Oh, oh stonker. That's a great fish. Oh, yeah. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, I'll get it out of the net and give you a look. Oh. Look at him. Fish. That is a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He just pinned him too. Oh, oh shit, he's not in there by much. No. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Yes. <laughs> ah, it's a big black dewy. Giddy up. Yeah, right on the meter. Oh, look at that. Bang on a dollar. Nice. Phew. I don't know if I could handle any bigger, mate. <laughs> a little Muppet arms wouldn't get it in. <laughs> oh. Hey, I'm just going to give you a bit of info while we're cruising around. Jacko's driving. Yeah. We're just trolling around the bay, see if we can't pick up a stray Mackie or something. But in Melville Bay here from the go boat club, uh, you'll see a lot of industry going on. So I'll swing around. Excuse the wind noise if you cop a bit, but behind me is that's the refinery, or it used to be the bauxite refinery, and it's now in care and maintenance. They don't actually refine it here, they just ship it offshore as bulk. So it comes straight from the bauxite mine uh, out to the end here, to the loading docks, and it goes offshore that way, and they refine it somewhere else. I don't know the whole reasoning behind that, whether it's too expensive or whatnot, but I know um, when I was born up here, uh, and that's what Dad came up for, he was a fitter machinist uh, working at the refinery. So there you go, a bit of info. And now it's shut down. So when um, the whole operation closes in a few years, they have to return it to a certain level of environmental sort of standard, right? Which means they have to pull down that refinery, turn it all into scrap metal and um, refurbish that sort of land, right? I don't know what's gonna happen. The locals don't know either. They reckon there's another five years left in the mine, they've been told. And then what will happen to Gove and Nullum Boy, I don't know. So much potential up here for, for tourism and I don't know, yeah, caravanning and camping and that. So it'd be a shame to see nothing happen with it, but who knows? That's above my pay grade. Anyway, come on, rooster. Big mackerel out the back, eh? What do you reckon? Yeah. Whee! Too fast, brother.
Hey, you want to know how to save a bit of money? <laughs> <laughs> Get your husband a pair of scissors, mate, and they don't have to go to the hairdresser. <laughs> what did those scissors cost us? I, I got them know. on eBay. <laughs> 30 bucks on eBay or something. Uh, now I do all the hair. I do the kids. Yep. I do the, the wifeys. I even did my own last time, hey? Yeah. I'm not doing that again, though. That didn't turn out too well. <laughs> I, for, I forgot how rude my scrawny is. <laughs> anyway, uh, look at this. Swing around here. Look at this. So straight. Done a real good done. job. Hmm? Happy with that, dear? I am actually. Good job. You oh, always yeah. cut it. I was Just a like, couple of cartons there. You know, there. they quoted me um, in the NT, it's like $80 for a haircut. And that just took me 45 seconds. <laughs> Loving it. I'll take the 80 bucks. Oh, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, thanks for that. No worries. Uh, mud crab mission. We're going to check this pot that we put in yesterday afternoon. We um, found a good hole, uh, but couldn't get the crab out of it, it's too deep. So he shoved a pot in its face and hopefully he'll be there in the morning or now and we'll take him home for dinner. Oh yeah, I'll tell you what, the mud crabs up here, honestly, I don't know what it is, but they taste that much better than any other mud crab I've had, like Queensland, WA, mate. The NT mud crab is legit the tastiest I've had. So make sure you get onto a couple when you're up here. Come on, kid. All right, here we go. Is there a muddy in that pot or not? I don't think there is. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. <laughs> here we go. Oh, I can see him in the bottom there. Probably should have worn shoes. It would have been smart. All right, you ready? Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Hello, Mr. Mud Crab. Yeah. Thank you very much. That plan worked out a treat. Thank you. I'm gonna have to carry a pot with me from now on, I reckon. All right, come and have a look at this one, kiddos. What a beauty. Hey? Yes. Ah, thank you. If you didn't know, that's what a mud crab hole looks like. There you go. Ah, happy with that. It's like 10 past seven in the morning. Kids got to go home and do schoolwork now. No. Yeah, that's half your schoolwork done. Hunter and gatherer. Yo. How's that for a morning run before school, bro? Awesome. <laughs> yes, I like it. Uh, but I, I really do like not it. Not like the mug. Crab. Yum. Hey, um, I'm going to do a fish curry. I'm just going to show you how we do it quickly and a few tips around it because I know a lot of people stuff it up, um, deck included. So <laughs> But um, I reckon my personal choice for fish curry is always just a yellow. I think it's the best one that goes with fish. I don't know, if you like other curries, it might be sweet, but I, yellow curry paste is the go for me. A bit of coconut milk or cream, and a few veggies. I put um, green beans, yellow capsicum, red capsicum, and then a bit of onion. Then I've got sweet potato and some of my favorites, the old um, canned potatoes. Oh, yes. Yes, they are so good. I'm not gonna put the whole tin in because Beck hates too much potato. Too many carbs or something. Oh remember. my God, that but... is not true. <laughs> I just prefer sweet potato, it just tastes nicer. Anyway, what I do, I like putting them on like a couple of hours before dinner and letting it sit. But hot tip, don't put your fish in straight away, right? So I've got beautiful uh, Northern Territory Black Jew that I caught myself. I'll drop in a photo here now just because I'd like to show you and I'm pretty damn proud of it. <laughs> it went bang on a metre, a metre of black dew and they fight bloody well. They're good for a curry because see how firm it is mm. and it sort of breaks up in segments. But what you want to do, get all your curry going, get it all cooked and all the flavours in there and then your fish goes in in like the last five to seven minutes before you serve it. So you just want to stir that through gently and like poach the fish in the curry already and then when that starts to fall apart, that turn it off, serve it up, and away you go. If you leave it in there and go away, uh, that will just turn to nothing. It'll disintegrate and like slow cook and just, you won't even know there's fish in there. You just want to have it just cooked and then um, away you go, stir it through at the end. But I'll show you the finished product. But look at that. I'm gonna bag the rest of that up, put it in the freezer. We've had a couple of meals of that big dewy now. Oh, oh, I tell you, I'll put another photo here to show you it's pretty damn cool. <laughs> got to get a bit fancy with our fish meals now, we've got that much of it. Oh mate, it's so good. If you've got any fish recipes, oh, yeah. hit us up with some good caravan. 
fish cooking demos or recipes yeah. and we'll put them in some vids. There you go. Oh, did I tell you, don't cut your fish too big either. So you just want to have them all about the same size, like little medallions. Um, so they all cook at the same time. And you don't want to have like big fillets of it or tiny little chunks of it. Just have like a good, that way you can grab that. Mm, yum. Good oh. Yum. Well, um, I'll show you later what it looks like. Righto, here you go, here's the curry. This is all done, all the veggies and the curry in together. And then I've just had the, the fish in the fridge. Now, the biggest reason I do this is so you cook all the potatoes and that to get to the right um, all the tenderness, you know what I mean? You poke them with a fork, make sure they're soft enough. And then, now that that's going, I turn it back on and I just pour all my fish in, like this. Voila. Then just give it a stir. This way you got to be real gentle because everything's already nice and soft and um, well cooked. So just give it a bit of a stir like so. Make sure all the fish is covered in the curry. And then just let it sort of simmer for about five minutes. Just poach it off. Uh, you don't want to keep stirring it too much because it'll break the fish up. So just uh, do that. And then I switch. I normally use my wooden spoon. I switch to like a big spoon one of these then you can just gently scoop it around turn it over yeah there you go anyway lid back on let it simmer away and poach the fish for about five minutes make sure you keep a timer on so you know and then once that fish is breaking apart and it's not translucent anymore shut it down cook your rice up and smack into it well here's the finished product mate uh, plans have changed for me to Savo. I'm actually going to go fishing tonight. <laughs> um, much to Beck's disgust, but anyway, I've um, I've cooked the curry for her. I've put the fish in because she was a bit worried about it. Um, she's over at the boat club with a few other families for one of the kids' birthdays. But I just want to show you this. See, this is a fish. If I can see how it's not translucent anymore and it's white. And if you put your fork in it, it gently breaks apart like this. Oh, mate. Hmm. Legit, so good. One of the best tips I can give you, but now, um, hang on, it's all right. You just leave it sit there, and if you need to reheat it, don't stir it. Just gently put your scoop in, like so. Grab your curry, and put it on your rice. Because that fish, now that it's cooked, will break up super easy. You don't want to break it up into tiny pieces. You just want to scoop it on and eat it straight off your rice. But that, my friends, is so bloody good from a jar, hey? Eh? Little jar of yellow curry. I didn't add anything extra for flavor. Just that. Boom. Oh, that's a goalie. That's what we're after. You reckon he'll come in? Yeah, he'll come in. Here, right, here we go. Oh, he's got some weight in him. Yeah, good goalie, mate. How's that for a fish? Good stuff. Oh. That is a ripper. He's well hooked. Oh, yeah. Number two. Nice yes. Mate, well oh, well, that worked out all right, mate. Yeah. Hey? Apart from he tried his hardest to make me spew over the side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we got a fairly good mixed bag in the end, eh? Yeah. Wow, wait. Look at that. I think the next time we'll just go straight to the jack hole, mate. I think so, mate. I think that's the plan. <laughs> you can have your swell and chop to yourself. <laughs> Welcome back guys to um, our first episode of Hooked and Cooked. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> anyway, Beck has a few more. I might show you some shady footage of her. Oh, stop it. I'm not <laughs> Getting that a bit wild anyway. There's no yeah. music. I can't get wild. I've got a phone, mate. I need music Spotify. though. Spotify. <laughs> Catch ya.